In this video we are going to make a cute little bunny like this, and the link to the pattern is down below in the video description. The materials are listed here, but you can also have a look again in the PDF file when you download it. We start by putting the back and front head pieces right sides together each, and sew along the front and back center seams. We then put two arm pieces right sides together each and sew all the way around leaving a hole on the back edge as indicated on the pattern piece. Now we put two body pieces right sides together each and sew along the center front and back seams. We then put one white and one pink earpiece right sides together each and sew all the way around leaving the top straight edge open. Now we can turn the ears and arms inside out. Next we fold the bunny ears in half so that the pink is on the inside. Then we pin the ears to the marked ear position as indicated on the pattern piece so that the fold is facing upwards. We now tack the ears into place with a few stitches. Now we can fold and pin the ears to the center of the front of the head, so it doesn't get in the way when we sew the head pieces together. Next we can pin the back head piece to the front. And sew all the way around, leaving the bottom open.
Then we can turn the fabric inside out. Now we can pin the front and back body pieces right sides together. and sew all the way around, leaving a hole open at the top. Then we can turn the body fabric inside out. Next we can stuff the head, the body and the arms. Then we can close the stuffing holes by hand. I'm using the ladder stitch mostly. Now we can sew the head to the top of the body, the neck.
Next we can sew the arms to the sides of the body. Next I use a pencil to draw on a face. You can make the eyes, nose and mouth as big or as small as you'd like. Then I take my brown embroidery floss to stitch on the eyes and mouth and pink for the nose.
I also added a bow above the right ear. This is completely optional. A tutorial on how to make a bow like this yourself is linked in the video description. Now we can draw some wax crayon onto a piece of fabric and carefully blush the cheeks of the bunny by rubbing the piece of fabric onto the cheeks in a circular motion. I am using Melissa and Doug crayons. For the tail, sew around the outside of the circular tailpiece with large stitches, pull the string and the tail starts to form itself. Now we can stuff the tail, close the opening and sew it to the back of the bunny with a ladder stitch. As a final touch we can add a pink belly patch, sew it to the belly with a blanket stitch. And here's our cute little bunny. I'm so in love with it. It is so adorable. I really hope you enjoyed making a bunny with me and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos and if you want to support me head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns. The link for the website is down below in the video description. I'm really grateful to your support. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!